A lot of us know that coffee and orange go together. What about combined with bourbon? Welcome back. Today, we're creating the revolver. The revolver came from San Francisco bartender John Santer, who wanted to play with the idea of coffee and orange going together, but adding a alcoholic component, not just in terms of vodka or something like that, which is very neutral grain, but play with bourbon. And he created this cocktail at Bourbon and Branch where it became famous. I've never had it, it sounds pretty cool. It does utilize a unique garnish that I'll get into in just a minute. It's not too unique, but it's a little bit unique, especially to this show. Let's get into it. This is a stirred cocktail, which means of course, grab a mixing glass. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this mixing glass with ice. So now to this, I need orange bitters. I'm gonna utilize Reagan's orange bitters. Reagan's, Angostura, Fees, Anything, any orange bitters that you have. I want two dashes. And now I need a half ounce of coffee liqueur. Which one? You could use Kahlua if you want to. Me? I'm not going to fall on that one. Instead, I'm reaching for Mr. Black. So I'm going to need a half ounce of Mr. Black. So now I need bourbon. Which bourbon? The original is actually called for with bullet. I don't believe I have bullet available. So I'm going to try to use something a little bit dry in that regard. And I haven't used this ever in a cocktail. I'm reaching for Wild Turkey 101. If you have like Old Grandam Bottle and Bond, that should work just fine. If you want something that's a little bit dry, quote that I've heard is dry and spicy, any good bourbon will work. I'm just using Wild Turkey 101 because A, it's cheap, B, it's 101 proof, and C, well, it does have a bit of a high rhyme in the mash bill. Put our spoon down, give it a stir. How long do you stir? Go until it gets cold. Outstanding. I'm gonna reach for a Nicanora, jewel strainer, down and in. Now for garnish, I need an orange and I'm gonna pull a pretty good sized twist for this one. Reason being is this is also a flamed peel. Typically you would use match me, I don't have matches, so I'm just going to use a extended lighter. So I'm going to express the oil through the flame into the glass. Outstanding. Give a twist and drop in. And also a reason for this is it adds the flame, it adds a little bit of heat and also depending on how much uh, oil you're able to get out of the peel from the orange, allow for a little bit of smoke to act like a, well, a smoking gun. And this is Revolver. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. The coffee, the orange, the orange bitters, the bourbon. It just works, you know? It might be a little bit watered down because of how much ice I utilized and how long it was stirred. And also the ice being kept, you know, just holding until, except for, you know, pour it, fill it, and then stir to allow for not as much uh, melting. But this is a nice cocktail. The bourbon notes, the, um, the sweetness of the bourbon, the sweetness of the uh, coffee liqueur might be a little on the undersweetened side for my personal taste. I'm not going to add... Uh, simple syrup to this because I don't want to play with the ratios on it too much. I actually want to give you the correct uh, thought process for this. But this is a nice, this is a nice drink. You know, it's a, um, it's a good wake me up. It's a good, um, it, it just blends well. But no, this is a good cocktail. I have to say, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by it. If you like the video, then please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share the video, please. If you want to use any of the barware that I use on my show. Check down below for a link to kit.co, which will have all the barware that I use, including glasses, mixing glasses, a jigger, bar spoons, you name it. If it's in my bar and I can get a link onto it, it will be there. They will also be affiliate links, which means that you know the deal. You click the link, make a purchase, obviously receive a kickback. Thank you in advance, as always. Find all my socials down below as well in the description. 
Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll be back real soon with another cocktail. And this has been The Beginner's Bar.